A word of warning, Zachariah. Words spreading about your missions. Things you've been able to accomplish. Filled with troubling details that imply you have a mole in your midst. If there is an ASC spy amongst your ranks, he will not only know our secret, but eventually share it back to his master. We will, in no uncertain terms, be lost. All will be lost. So take care. And take care of it. Sooner rather than later. Thank you for the warning. I assure you, I will get to the root of this. Are you so sure that it's a spy? Indeed. The details of your mission were so specific that they were assuredly gained firsthand. So unless you are spreading the information yourself, who else is left but Captain Eliza and your men? Whoever it is, make sure they see nothing else. Ensure that our secret is kept safe. Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Hope this isn't going to be a habit, Lieutenant. His problems aren't yours anymore. Of course. I'll go see... Have a moment, Captain? Depends what you need it for. Just want to get to know you better, Captain. I don't usually mix business and pleasure, Lieutenant, but... Ask away and we'll see which questions I feel like answering. You from Ophir? Born and raised. Father was an officer. Mother was a quartermaster. And I've rarely ventured outside the walls before a few scattered missions. Sound familiar, Lieutenant? Very familiar, Captain. Except my parents weren't officers. Which makes your rise even more noble, Lieutenant. How was your rise to Captain earned? Hmm. Over time. But by no special action by me. Graduated as a corporal, and thanks to the brave men underneath me, their success and missions became mine in rank. No heroic feats to dazzle you with in stories. Just a lot of time and dedication that I'm proud of just the same. What do you think of us? Honestly, Lieutenant? I'm not quite sure yet. You Technomancers are new to me. Undoubtedly special, and capable of feats my other units couldn't dream of accomplishing, but... Time will tell. That said, I've been quite impressed. I thought it was the definition of insanity to send you and so few of your men on some of those missions. Missions I would have anticipated needing ten times the manpower for. So far, you've proven me wrong. <laughs> the rare feat in itself. So even though it's taking some time getting used to, I couldn't be happier you're one of my troops. Can I ask about your relationship with ASC? Tread carefully, Lieutenant. One might start to wonder the purpose of your questions. But here's my answer. We're all forced to work with them, but it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Too much power too quickly leads to arrogance. To brash and too quick to act. And quite frankly, as they've risen in power, it's no coincidence that the dissenters, deviants, and rebels have risen in numbers. They're a great source of intel, however they get it. They sleep better at night not knowing the means. But I've always thought the army was strength enough, that the ASC was overkill. I trust you won't repeat anything I've said, Lieutenant. I'd hate for both of us to find ourselves enemies of the state over a little frank conversation. My lips are sealed, Captain, and I appreciate your candor and trust, more than you know. Everything's clean in here. Looks just like the Captain's work. Nothing that implies she's working at the ASC. Lieutenant? I want to know my men better. Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, great. Show and tell. Yay. What do you do when you're off duty? Nothing special. See my folks, I guess. They ain't getting any younger, so... 
And I give most of my paycheck to them, because I'm the only one they got left. Your sister died. And I ain't married, so when I ain't with them, I'm at the bar, drowning the shitstorm that my life's become. Not exactly a picture-perfect life, but it's mine. And hell, I get paid enough to help them out and buy my own drinks, so what's there to complain about? What do you think about Jeffrey Hunter? He's a village idiot who thinks he can brown-nose his way to a promotion. Fucking reject. And no, he ain't my friend, if you haven't pieced that together. I'm gonna leave you alone. Seems you'd rather be that way anyway. At your command, Lieutenant. I have a second to talk? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Like, just you and me, or...? Yeah, just you and me. I like to know my men. Wow, that's... <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a huge honor, Lieutenant. So what's your life like when you're not on duty? I tell you the truth, Lieutenant, not much to tell. I, I try to visit the city, make some friends, you know, because I don't really know too many folks yet. And my whole family's back in Greenhope, which is kind of too far to travel for my leave. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, you know... I try to still do some hunting, though there's not much more than small critters in the underworks. Not a great hobby for the city. You have a good childhood? Oh yeah, you know it, Lieutenant. Really nice growing up, running around in the fields. Father gave me a crossbow, and I spent my time helping the farmers shoot critters hurting their crops. They were good times, Lieutenant, but everybody's got to grow up and move on. There was a lot of hunters in Green Hope, too. Plus, I always dreamed of being a soldier. Mostly, though, because there was a girl back home who loved men in uniform, so... Off I went to the big city to join up. And, you know, since I was a sharpshooter, they signed me up and sent me here. Still not used to it. All the buildings, all the folks, and all the concrete. But I'm happy, though. At your command, Lieutenant. How do you like Dave? You guys get along? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, he's not always the happiest guy in the world, but it's probably because he didn't have an easy life. He's always talking about how his life was nothing before 126 and joining the army and that his family's all he's got. He's kind of bitter, but he's probably got a right to be. I always cheer him up, though, hoping he'll loosen up over time. Be a pick of his parents. Guy's damn notes. Bastard's got my whole schedule in here, and the names of every single person we saw together. Hmm. Feels like a Green Hope souvenir stand. Kid must be missing home. Unless being messy's a crime, though. Doesn't look like he's doing anything wrong. It must have been Dave keeping tabs on me the whole time. Never would have believed it. I guess if you could spot them, though, they wouldn't be so damn powerful. Lieutenant? I know you're a drinking man, so what do you say we go grab one together? Looks like it's my lucky day. Sure, why the hell not? Lead the way. So why don't you cut the bull and tell me why we're really here? Sure. You've been spying on me, Dave, and reporting everything back to Victor. I don't like rats. That's not all right with me. And what? You think I ever had a choice in the matter? Think I had the option to say no? I don't care. All I know is they got all the intel they wanted on me from one of my own soldiers, and I don't know why. What's your angle, Dave? You bitter you got a manser as your lieutenant? I thought we were past all that. What'd they promise you? Promotion? Better pay? Nothing but a promise they wouldn't hurt my parents. Is that a good enough reason? I don't like the ASC. Don't like what they're doing to Abundance. Don't like what they're doing to me. I don't like the deal they offered, and I don't like I didn't have a choice but to accept it. I ain't got no one but my folks since my sister died. Not that I expect you to shed a tear for me, but... If I gotta choose between them and you... Sorry, brother. You're on the losing end of that. If it helps, though... 
I don't think you're the full prick you were before we had this little chat. In fact, I might even have liked you in another time and place. But you're in deep shit now. And it's shit I don't want to get pulled into with you. I don't want your blood on my hands, David. But I can't let you keep doing what you're doing. So I'm just gonna tell you to get the hell out of Ophir and don't look back. I don't... sure. Yeah, sure. Bye, Lieutenant. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I found the mole. David Ward was running lines for the ASC. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So, what happened with this ward? I couldn't find it in myself to kill him, so I released him and let him run, like a rat. I would assume he's still running, and we'll never see him in Ophir again. The full blame cannot be cast on him. There are few who the ASC cannot bend to their will. We'll cross our fingers. Hopefully this soldier is gone for good and does not find himself arrested before he should escape. Lieutenant? I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit.